the aging population it's set to quadruple by 2020. We need to do something to encourage children to see that age is a number and everyone has commonalities. I was one of the original classrooms to begin this project and I have seen it grow every year since. We have 500 children literally every month, September through April, interacting with seniors at 10 different nursing homes. As for the residents, I know that they look forward to us coming each month. Every time we leave, they mention we can't wait to see you next month, and especially over the summer months when school isn't in session, they really, they really miss us. So, uh, I love seeing them, and it just makes my day that night. When I go, like tonight, I'll go home and lay in my bed and think about the children I work with today. A young lady named Brooks, and she brought this to me already made. Look like an artist she is. I know that I, in the past, have had students that have lost grandparents, so this kind of fills that void in their life. Generation to generation gives them that moral part where we can say, hey, stop and think about what community is. Stop and think about what your favorite spring activity is. It provides them a time to kind of close the generation gap a little bit and it helps the um, elderly learn more patience when regarding and dealing with children and it teaches the children to be more compassionate and understanding of the elderly. With a, a gentleman one-on-one -on -one in a nursing home, his name was Stanley Colbus. For years I would take him out on Friday, his wife had passed away, and we would go have dinner. But while I was there you would see in the nursing home a lot of lonely, depressed people that didn't seemingly have a connection. Well then, we were talking to some teachers and they wanted to get their students involved in the community and they said, well, why not make this connection? So we brought a, a, a class of kindergartners over and just watching the joy of the residents. You know, we're bringing joy to the residents who may feel lonely at times or may need that, that relationship of a younger grandchild type. Oh man, I love it. Makes me feel good. I could add more grandkids to my soil. Oh, yeah. I couldn't imagine this program not being here, I mean, it's just changed the whole um, demeanor of some of our residents. We're all kind of one big family, and that family can mean your classroom community, your generation to generation community, it can mean your family at home. My grandson comes to this program. He's told me even at home that he looks forward to coming to see a teacher that is here because he said she teaches me how to write grandma and how to make my letters better. I had one child that, you know, just really took to a certain resident, just listened to every word she said and when I asked him about it, he said she reminds me of my grandma and I love to hear her stories. They mean a lot to me. I am mighty proud to have them back here again. These are my kids. This is the best I've ever this is very easy to sell to volunteers. Everybody wants to be valued. They want to give their time. They want to be involved. Once they see the value and where we're going, the direction, it's easy for them to come back. I just invite people, just come one time. By the second visit, they cannot wait wait to come and participate with the crafts with the residents, um, having conversations with them, having book time and story time. That's your community. You should want to be a part of it and you should be proud of a part of it and you should encourage others to do that. If they learn to help and do things for us, then as they go on through life, they can be given people. And I think that's a wonderful lesson for them to take. And I can just share it their love in my heart and um, as I said, feel like I'm interacting with my own grandchildren. They create bonds and memories, I feel like, that are going to impact them from here, you know, throughout the rest of their lives. Every day we see something new that happens in that space. But it's that big picture as you step back that's how a, trans, a community is transformed, by involving all its citizens. And this is a great example where we feel that's happening. Happy birthday to you.